try Italian hazelnut. This one is summer raspberry flavor. Let's try it. This one is lemon flavor. Why are we so good? And I think we've always been really lucky to do really well on social media. We're a really bright, colourful brand and it's a product that really lends itself to people wanting to tell their friends about it because it's so different. And I think what, what, what created the sort of TikTok hype was this magic kind of combination of time, right time, right product and just the environment we're in. So a lot of people ask me how to replicate it, but I don't think you, you necessarily, there's no magic formula for it. But if you think about it, everyone was at home, locked down, there was literally nothing to do apart from go to the grocery store. So we weren't competing against much, but say, and it was a trend that was really easy to replicate. You basically go, find, find some little moons, rate it, and um, make a video out of it. So it's super accessible. So for the people who don't know what they are, they're these, and they're basically mochi with ice cream inside. Try little moon. Yeah! So this is what they look like, and we're putting them on a plate. Um, it's nice. It's Little Moons is pronounced as mochi. Um, I know there's been a bit of debate about that, but um, we started 12 years ago um, and we first started selling to restaurants before we got um, into the mainstream retailers. Um, and now we're stocked in all retailers. But people are always looking for great food and new things and incredibly tasty things. And so I guess just having, having that product there um, just really captured the market. Um, I think perseverance is really important, so a lot of people think that Little Moons is an overnight success, but we've actually been doing this for 12 years now. Um, I think some of the key things that have helped us on our journey is um, getting external advice from people and just be willing to learn, um, hiring really great people, and also not waiting to perfect your product, but sort of following the 80-20 rule and sort of moving fast, because I think that's really important. We've, we've done a lot of our growth during a particularly per difficult period during the industry with supply chain issues, um, obviously issues with exporting, with Brexit, and so absolutely perseverance and resilience is really important with building a brand. One of the things that sort of really helped the development of the business is that we're, we're business partners and brothers and sisters, and by a happy coincidence we also happen to have completely opposite skill sets and in the early years that was quite jarring because we were like you know we had quite different ways of working but as we grew and understood um, kind of almost our personality such we actually took personality tests um, it's looking back it's been such an asset. I'd say Howard is definitely a thinker and I'm more of a doer. 